Gypsum Recycling International is the worldwide leader in recycling of plasterboard and gypsum waste. Our unique system has been implemented in 10 countries on three continents, Europe, North America, and Asia. We cooperate with all the five leading plasterboard manufacturers in the world, Knauf, Sangaban, USG, Syniat, and National Gypsum. This video shows how the system works, from the waste being collected in the market, until it has been converted into a pure gypsum powder that is delivered to the plasterboard plant as a substitute for virgin raw materials. As an integral part of the system, we have developed dedicated containers for collecting plasterboard waste in the market. The containers are equipped with top lids that prevent the waste from getting wet and with front lids that can be turned down, making it very easy to load the waste. This is particularly important at public recycling centres and builders merchant sites where it is the general public that is loading the waste. The containers can also be loaded from the side using the hinged double doors. The standard container size is 30 cubic metres and typically holds 6 tonnes of waste when fully loaded. We can handle all kinds of gypsum waste, from new construction waste to waste from reconstructions and demolitions, and the waste does not have to be clinically clean. We accept up to 2% contamination, as the recycling unit will automatically remove such contamination. Our system has been developed to handle all the usual kinds of contamination found, like nails, screws, wood, plastic bags, cardboard, etc. The containers are supplied in a clear green colour, so they are easily recognisable whether they are located at a sorting facility, a public recycling centre, a builder's merchant, or as here, on a building site. At the building site, the waste is generated by the plasterers when making the board fit the building. Most often, more than 15% of the plasterboard brought into new construction sites comes out again as waste. Waste from construction and demolition transfer stations and sorting facilities are also collected, where the gypsum waste has been segregated from the mixed waste it came in with. Once a container is fully loaded, we send our specially developed grab truck to collect the waste. The grab truck can collect waste from five or six fully loaded containers, hereby reducing the need to return to the recycling facility after every container has been unloaded. When arriving at the site of the container, our driver will start with opening of the top lid to get access to the waste. Then he uses the grab to empty the waste from the container. It is a quick and efficient operation. The waste has a density of approximately 0.2 tonnes per cubic metre in the container. By squeezing, pressing and stamping the waste with the grab, the density is increased to approximately 0.3 tonnes per cubic metre in the grab truck. It only takes the driver approximately 12 minutes to grab out a full container, and there is remarkably little left in the container afterwards. Once finished with the grabbing, the driver pushes a button and the top lids come down. The container is ready to be used again. The truck has onboard scales, so each load that is collected is weighed and a weigh bill can be delivered to the site supervisor. The site is invoiced according to the weigh bill. The job has been completed and the truck moves on to the next site where another container must be unloaded. A maximum of 15 minutes has passed from entering until the site is left again. Compared to the normal roll-on, roll-off container trucks, where a new empty container is delivered and the full container is picked up and brought to the recycling facility, we save up to 70% in travel distance, energy and time. We do not only do environmentally friendly recycling, our collection system is also environmentally beneficial.
Once the truck is completely full, it goes to the nearest recycling facility. We always try to locate our recycling facilities close to the users of our recycled powder. Again, to save resources and transport costs. This facility is located directly on the site of Knauf's plant. All our operations occur inside the recycling facility. Once the grab truck is inside, the waste in the first trailer is side tipped out. The waste in the back trailer is pushed out. And the truck is ready to leave again. The front end loader stacks up the waste in the facility. Here approximately 3,000 tonnes are stored up to 12 metres in height. Once a minimum of 2,000 tonnes have been collected and stored at a recycling facility, one of our mobile recycling units with two operators will be sent in to recycle the waste. The recycling unit will typically stay approximately 10 days at the facility and then move on to the next facility. Prior to processing by the recycling unit, the waste is hand sorted for bigger pieces of contamination. The recycling unit will automatically remove the rest. The processing is started by loading the waste into the hopper of the recycling unit. The recycling unit only requires one person to operate. The other operator is used for driving the recycled gypsum powder to the plasterboard plant. Our mobile recycling units consist of either one or two trailers and produce two streams of materials, the paper and the clean recycled gypsum powder. The quality of the recycled gypsum powder is unique. By applying several patented sorting and separation techniques during the recycling process, virtually all impurities are removed, and the recycled gypsum powder, which is 99% as good as the virgin gypsum, is produced. The critical operation here is to remove all of the paper linen of the plasterboard together with the other organic contaminants like plastic, wood, etc. The segregated paper looks like this. The paper fraction can be recycled further into recycled paper which is shown at the end of this video. Similarly, all metal contamination is removed and exit the recycling unit here. Here we see the back side of the two trailers. Notice the compactness of the equipment and that the trailers come with integrated wheels making them easy to transport on ordinary roads. Immediately after being made, the recycled gypsum powder is loaded into a container. A container is put on an ordinary container truck and driven to the nearby plasterboard plant. In this case, a BPB plant. The recycled gypsum powder is delivered into the warehouse of the plasterboard plant and unloaded into the area designated for the recycled materials. This is typically just next to the area for the virgin materials. The recycled powder is added using the normal raw materials hopper and is used to make new boards with. Recycled powder can make up to 30% of the total raw materials supply. In order to utilise all the resources found in the plasterboard waste, Gypsum Recycling International is now capable of taking paper fraction originating from the gypsum recycling process and making recycled paper out of it. As you can see, after the gypsum waste recycling process, there is too much gypsum and too many contaminants still found in the gypsum paper. This process is based on a new gypsum paper recycling technology, which separates the contaminants from the paper and cleans off all gypsum adhered to the paper. With this additional process, the paper is turned into valuable paper raw material. Just as our other machines, this technology is mobile, allowing one paper recycling unit to service more recycling facilities. This new process can be operated by only one operator, who loads the paper fraction into the recycling unit. The development of the technology has been co-funded by the Eco Innovation Initiative of the European Union to achieve 100% recycling of gypsum waste. Through various treatment steps, the contaminants are separated from the gypsum paper. First, 
plastic contaminants are sorted out. And the wood fraction and other contaminants are separated from the paper, which you see here. Eventually, the 100% input of gypsum paper is for 50% turned into clean, recycled paper. And the recycled paper is delivered to the recycled paper industry for numerous applications. The other 50% of the gypsum paper, which is not converted into recycled paper, is for the vast majority gypsum lumps and fines, which are recycled back into the plasterboard production. From 100% plasterboard waste, our gypsum recycling process combined with our paper recycling process is delivering 95% recycled gypsum and 5% recycled paper. The circle is complete. What was waste, coming from new and old boards, has been converted back into a raw material and is now used to make new boards and paper. Thank you for your attention.